Hi, welcome to Azure AI video series. I'm Yan Li, a product manager at Microsoft. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Azure OpenAI powered summarization in Azure AI language. Summarization in Azure AI language is a task optimized GPT model that offers a fast, cost-effective way to summarize documents and summarizations. We think of summarization as two main categories based on the input genre, documents and conversations. It drastically reduces the time of going through the entire content, helps the user focus on the important information, and enables users to implement process automation workflow. Document summarization is general purpose and provides two summarization styles. First, with abstractive, you will receive a concise summary based on an understanding of the input. It can help you prioritize whether to open a document to read more. Second, with extractive, you will get a summary composed of a list of key sentences extracted directly from the input, which allows you to jump to the points to read more. Extractive summarization is particularly helpful when original statements need to be preserved. In fact, it works on any unstructured text, not just documents. For instance, a conversation written in a plain text format can also be summarized with document summarization. Conversation summarization is specially tailored for conversational content. It provides useful conversational artifacts in addition to textual summarization that helps user navigate to relevant contexts in the conversation for more details. It supports four aspects, issue, resolution, chapter title, and narrative summarizations. Let's assume you are developing solutions for a call center. As customer support agents address customers' issue over the phone or chat, the issue and resolution aspects are designed to summarize key information for the case. For example, the issue the customer is facing and the solutions the agent provides to resolve their problem. This reduces time and effort individual agents have to spend after the call to write down summaries. The chapter title and the narrative summarizations are more general purpose and can be used for summarizations for multiple participants. We all deal with meetings all day at work. Let's say there is a meeting you want to catch up on. Instead of listening to the entire recording, you can use the chapter title and the narrative aspects to quickly come up to speed with the discussions in the meeting and jump to the sections you are interested in. The chapter title aspect segments a conversation into sections with each section headed by a title. The narrative generates a summary for each section. This capability already powers Microsoft Teams today and is actively used by millions of users. That was a quick demonstration of summarization and stay tuned for more innovation from us in this area. To get started with summarization, check it out in the Language Studio at aka.ms slash summarization dash tryout or visit our documentation at aka.ms slash summarization dash docs. And finally, to learn more about Azure AI language, please visit aka.ms slash azure dash language. Thank you.